Welcome to the Old Boar Plays City Skylines. This is a tutorial series for you to learn all about Railway 2 train networks. I'm putting in functioning railway infrastructure. In this video, we'll be optimizing this rail yard complex and I'll be showing you the very basics of the new mod called Transfer Controller. This is an industry support rail yard that has many dedicated lines coming in from an outside industry area. And you can see that we have a few factories that need resources. The gar factory needs glass. The soft paper factory needs crops. The lemonade factory needs crops. Bakery as well. This silo is just an industry building. It does need resources and workers. So the first thing that you want to do, if you've got a rail yard like this one, is do the research on how many resources you actually need. These are all of the unique factories and the Miyagi Motors factory complex and some distribution centers. The unique factories have a total of 48 resource needs. Each warehouse holds a certain amount of goods. The large warehouse holds 750 tons. The medium warehouse holds 400 tons. The small warehouse, 250 tons. If you hover over this resource, you can see that crops is 18 tons and glass is 14 tons. But this factory is not operating because it doesn't have these resources at all. So one of the first things that we're going to do is put in an asset that I found on the Steam Workshop to replace this. There are two different silos exactly the same. One is the ploppable building and the other one actually stores crops. If you have these unique factories, you have the Industries DLC installed, and therefore you have a farming industry somewhere. But the silos and barns in this particular silo can be stored outside of the industry area for farming. This is the large grain silo and the small grain silo. These come with the Industries DLC, along with the unique factories. But you can store these off-site. You can put them miles or kilometers away from your industry area. I'm going to replace this building here. Another thing you need to know is that when you replace these buildings, you need to put them on a road that's coming straight in from one of your train lines that's highly used. It's a little tip that I've been learning watching this process and 
learning how to work this. This grain silo has 6,000 tons of crops. That should suffice for the entire rail yard complex. I'm also going to rename these the very basics of how transfer controller works. You click on your building and you'll see an icon here, transfer controller. Another dialog opens up. This is for garbage collection because the building is a recycling center. You can simply click prefer local district. You can take those out. Or you can force it just a little bit more and you can apply the district that it's in. We're in the rail yard complex. You can even select permitted buildings that this particular recycling center is able to serve. We're gonna leave it at that. That's the very, very basics of transfer controller. From now on, these trucks will only stay within the rail yard complex and serve the needs here. But in the case of our lemonade factory, we need to bring in crops and glass. I'm going to click transfer controller and I'm going to the goods in tab. It's highlighted in blue. I'm going to prefer local district and I'm going to enable location restrictions. Again, I'm going to add rail yard complex. You can unclick this and also add woodland farming industry. But we're going to stay simple for now. Now in your unified UI, you click on this. You'll see that this building that's highlighted in pink is configured. So I'll do the same for the bakery. I also want to add the animal products and this warehouse here, which is flour. Now you can see that I have three buildings configured. You can also click on the transfer controller. I've highlighted the icon here, but you can open the building and use the icon that's located within the building. Goods out, prefer local district. I don't want anything to export. I don't want to take the crops that are coming in and send them out to some other town. And I want to enable location restrictions. The 
the district is rail yard complex. And I'm going to add the lemonade factory and the bakery. One of the other things I'm going to do to optimize this process is I'll be renaming these. Instead of medium warehouse, I'm going to put MW flower. This one, LW for large warehouse animal products. Now we don't have a glass warehouse. I'm going to click around and look at the warehouses that I have. Paper. Petroleum. Plastics. Plastics. And more plastics. The car factory needs glass. The electronic factory needs glass. So I'm going to change this warehouse here to glass. And I'm going to change its source. It's going to have to empty its previous resource. we should see that the car factory and the electronics factory have glass soon. The transfer controller works based on distance. And according to the community that's working around it and the mod creator, the distance could be affected by factors of traffic. If I have a lot of traffic from this side to this side of the rail yard complex, I may want a glass warehouse on this side as well. Our silo is filling up with crops. We're 14% full. And we already have enough to meet the needs of these two factories. Our Bakery has now received crops from this truck and the owner is the crop silo one. We have a few more factories that use crops. Clothing factory, which is not operating, and the sneaker factory, which has had some crops. So I'm going to put in one more silo on this side of the rail yard complex. This is the huge grain silo and see by the icon in the left hand corner that this houses crops. It 
So now I'm going to open up Transfer Controller, Goods In, Prefer Local District, Enable Location Restrictions, Rail Yard Complex, and I'm going to go to this building here, Huge Grain Silo. And I'm going to rename this building as well. Crop Silo 2. you remember these are warehouses and train stations this is animal products these are 750 tons each metals plastics and paper if I check my factories on this end this needs animal products This is a large warehouse for planned timber. Our medium warehouse glass has now emptied and we're waiting on resources from the industry area now. We're 30% full, and you can see that our lemonade factory still doesn't have glass or crops. So I'm going to put a medium warehouse on this side of the rail yard complex, and I just don't have enough room here. Even though we've told Transfer Controller we need crops right here at this building, still hasn't worked yet. Because the mod is in beta testing, I wouldn't get over exaggerated about the use of it. We want to take it slow and allow the mod to develop. They're actively at work making it better. This is our paper warehouse. and our printing press. And I'm thinking about moving it and making room to put in a silo right next to our factory.
So I'm just going to take an Industries DLC large silo, plop it down right next to our factory. And I'll open up Transfer Controller, and I'm going to prefer the local district and imports. I'm going to put the rail yard complex here. And I'll select large grain silo. This warehouse is now receiving glass, probably from this train station here. Another thing that you can do, you want to create your road network to where the shortest distance from all of these crops is actually this rail line. Your road networks and your rail networks need to be efficient. I'm going to take a large crop field, place it near my rail station, and I might change this to greenhouse. And I'm going to name it Greenhouse Lemonade Factory. Also going to add some roads. Transfer controller. Goods out. This is only allowing goods out because we're selling directly from the greenhouse. We're not going to prefer local district here. We're going to enable location restrictions. Add the rail yard complex. We're going to take this plus sign for permitted buildings. And we're going to go all the way to the other side. Click the Lemonade Factory. You can see we're still lacking glass and crops. We don't have any glass here yet. Another tip that I have for you that I learned in this process. We're going to delete this and replace it. If you're not playing with unlimited money, and that's very expensive for you, I understand. You could try also moving it slightly to nudge the game along that you have this factory here needing these resources that are right next door. But I'll show you that once we have some glass here. 
Those are the very basics of transfer controller. Now we've got glass coming in. We might soon see that glass is coming right next door. This is another factory that has crops right next door. Doesn't seem to get the point. We've got 600 tons here. And on our soft paper factory, we only need 14 tons in order to start working. Here comes our crops from the freight terminal. The other thing I can do to optimize this whole process is name my freight terminals, name my warehouses, and also normalize the naming of the districts. Industry, farming. That way they appear in the list in alphabetical order. Industry, forestry. Industry ore, industry oil. So we have plenty of crops and we have plenty of glass. And this building just doesn't quite seem to understand can try to relocate the building. That involves a cost as well. You might see if that works. And in the worst case scenario, once I replace the building, crops and glass start to come in. If you go to your info views and hover over outside connections, you can see that this Miyagi Motors factory complex also needs forestry, oil products, agricultural products, and ore products. Our electronics factory is operating normally now. Our car factory is operating normally now. And still we can't get our soft paper factory to work. We'll give the game a little bit more time Sneaker factory got crops and paper and plastics and it's operating normally now. Our clothing factory doesn't seem to see that we have crops right next door. We're 48% full. The other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to normalize my town names and put in some districts where I want to put towns in. 
and I'll be doing some other things to optimize this particular area here. I'm going to time lapse this part and then we'll come back and see if our factories are working. If you want to remove a district, first remove the specialized part of the district. I'm going to take away that icon. If not, these will bunch up on the end of your map. So worst case scenario has happened. The bakery is receiving crops. This is not receiving crops or glass. So here's a tip that I learned that might be able to help you. I'm just gonna plop the building down again Immediately glass and crops have come in and our factory is operating normally. We'll do the same here. This building costs $100,000. This might not be a feasible option for you. What you can do before you lay those down is to plan ahead. And make sure those resources are near it. Crops. Paper. That was petroleum and plastics. I'm also going to expand my road to an eight lane avenue with no parking. I'll put the link to these and all the other assets I've used in the description. We don't want to use force ground.
If you have traffic manager settings, you'll have to come back through and redo those. Here's another situation where replopping the building fixed that. This is the Amtrak ALC 42 four car passenger train. The reason it's coming in is because the old boar forgot and put a train station in here at Fisherland. Choose your railway two tracks. I'm eventually going to take a train station out to all the little towns, a cargo train station. The other thing I think I'm going to do is do away with these one-way roads. I'm just going to do some lane controller and control S.
My traffic hovers at about 72-74%. And once I take all of the garbage trucks and other services off of the highways, forcing them to stay within their own districts might come up a few points. Thank you for watching The Old Boar Plays City Skylines. Take care now.